Hi everyone, I'm gonna talk about the WGU enrollment process. So WGU is Western Governors University. I've been enrolled there as a undergraduate in their Bachelor of Science in Computer Science since March, 2023. And I've had a really good experience. I talk about my first term being done in another video. Feel free to check that out. So I'm gonna walk through some of the enrollment process. Even though it's been about six months since I enrolled, I actually feel like there's still value I can add in terms of talking through how that process went for me and some things that I would recommend if I was going to enroll in the future or for people who are going to enroll. So I'm actually here in my enrollment portal right now and there's a few things going on here. So it talks about me and then the program I'm doing. So what's kind of cool is that even though I'm, I've am i been enrolled, like I'm, I'm a formal student, I can actually log back into this enrollment portal and just take a look, which is good for this video. So first thing you want to do is apply. And I definitely recommend applying a few months before you'd like to start. Like for me, when I start something, I just want to go, go, go. Like I don't really want to wait too long. But WGU, the whole enrollment process will take at least like a month or two, even if you're accelerating everything quickly in terms of getting your transcripts in, all of that necessary paperwork. So it's not like you can just apply and start the week after. So I recommend anticipating applying about a month or two before you would really like to start. Or if you'd like to start like ASAP, I would recommend just applying today. You can actually apply for free using a bunch of different codes. Usually a pop-up will pop up on the WGU main site, but if it doesn't, you can just input your email. It should send you either a free or like reduced admission a waiver, which is great. So once you do that, you'll either pay the application fee or if you do it for free, then not do that. And then an enrollment counselor will reach out to you pretty quickly just to check out like what your thoughts are on the program and see if you're ready to start immediately, walk through next steps. Then you wanna submit transcripts. Really, these are all gonna be electronic. They'll be able to do a evaluation of your transcripts. And let's see if there's a bunch of... Okay, yeah, so for me, I ended up submitting all my different transcripts from all the colleges I've been to. So I've done a bunch of different school programs because I really like school. So I sent all those in. I also sent in transcripts from study.com for a few classes I just wanted to get out of the way real quick. And I really like study.com, so I'll definitely make a video about that. Let's see. Um, yeah, so they gave me my transfer evaluation. It was about, I think, a month and a half after I applied. And that's just because some of these transcripts took some time to, to actually get into the hands of WGU, so that's okay out of my control, out of their control. But once that happened, they determined my eligibility requirements. So for Bachelor of Science Computer Science, there are some things that need to happen, like specifically, you need to, applicants will need to have completion of a pre-calculus course, and they need to have, oh, I think that's it actually. High school GPA of 2.75 or higher, so there are a few specific requirements, and this is true of other programs, like there are programs that require specific entry requirements, but if there are any issues with that, I recommend talking to your enrollment counselor and seeing their advice for any ways that you can not get around that, but address those. Like one way to do that might be to for instance, if someone hasn't done pre-calculus, but they want to do computer science at WGU, they could do pre-calculus through study.com. And you can even do calculus through study.com and get that done and be able to show, hey, like I actually can do this, like I'm ready. So that's, that's a great way to do that. Let's see, commit to start. Yeah, so there are just a few different review documents that need to happen, but those are super straightforward. And then financial requirements, that's just signing forms that say, oh, I understand the tuition and I'm ready to pay. Like, I think for me, I ended up just getting my payment plan ready so that it would deduct the cost per term over a few months. 
It's pretty inexpensive though. Like per term, it's about four grand. So it's not crazy. And each term is six months. So I like that about WG a lot. And then orientation needs to happen. For me, I did orientation in a day. Like it's very straightforward. Talks about WGU. You watch videos and then you do like little quizzes for just making sure that you tracked with the material, but very straightforward. That's pretty much the enrollment process. So some other advice I can give are one, be, yeah, so some other advice I can give are one, it's actually okay to take some time to think about what program you'd like to do. Like if you're debating between a few programs, when you enroll and apply, or rather when you are in the enrollment process, you actually don't need to be 100% sure from the very beginning what program you wanna do. You can change during the enrollment process. Although I definitely recommend having a generally good idea uh, before even applying. Although yes, like let's say someone applied to computer science, and then they're thinking, okay, maybe I don't quite want to do discrete math one and two. It's okay to switch to one of the other IT degrees, which are also great. So that's totally chill during the enrollment phase. Let's see what else. There, uh, you'll have the, your enrollment counselor, and I really like my enrollment counselor. I actually don't know if um, this should stay private, like her, this person's name, but um, this person did a great job. Another thing I can say is that I think there are some pretty good, helpful pieces of information in the orientation, actually. Sometimes orientations can be a little bit boring or like, oh, I don't know how useful this is, but I actually thought it was pretty good, so I'm, I'm grateful for that. And then I recommend, if you can fast track any of your transcripts, I would definitely highly recommend that because that took the longest time for me, but Let's see, it's definitely worth checking that if there are any options to pay a little bit extra to have those sent a little faster. But yeah, overall, I feel like this enrollment process went very smooth for me. I had a great experience and I'll anticipate finishing my degree in this next term, my second term, which is awesome. Let me know if you have any questions about WGU, specifically the enrollment process or really anything else. And thanks for watching.